I think uh, when I won the World Series of Fighting for the first time, you know, and being able to start my family, I think that was it. But looking at your career as well, coming into this fight, did you kind of already know, know that this was what was going to happen, you know, depending on the, the outcome of the fight? Or? Yes, it was all or nothing. I put my heart on this and I knew before, you know, I knew in my, this time is me, you know. Now, my heart, uh, I was talking to myself, I'm gonna give everything I have, I'm gonna prepare, train hard, I'm gonna come to get in there and like finish. If I don't finish, you know, and I give, I give all I had for this. Is there any regrets looking back on your career? Anything you wish that you had done or something you would have liked to change about your career at all? I can just thank God, you know, for everything I have it. And of course I made mistakes, I paid for, but that was my mistakes, you know? Everybody make mistakes. But one thing I never did, I, I never feared no challenge. And last question for me. I'm sure that there's boys and girls in Brazil that are watching you and are inspired by you and have been for years. What advice would you give them about their careers? Never stop yourself to try to do it again, you know? I, I, I kept trying, I kept trying, I kept pushing. But at some point, you know, I gave my all. I gave my all to the sport and I gave my all. Thank you. Right here. Marlon, uh, firstly, thank you for all the memories, man. You're an established legend in the sport. So many memorable knockouts, Aljamain Sterling, Tyson Nam back in the day, Jimmy Rivera. What would you say is your favorite Marlon Moraes knockout? I love every knockout, but I think against Sterling was a big one, you know, that one, it's memorable and I like it, that one. Do you take any solace in the fact that there's literally never been a boring Marlon Moraes fight. It's kill or be killed every single time. I mean, I can't think of a boring Marlon Moraes fight ever. Is it nice to be known as not only one of the most brutal knockout artists ever, but one of the most exciting fighters in Bantamweight history? Yeah, I said that in an interview yesterday. Guys, my fight won't be boring. That's guarantee, and that was it, you know? And I'm just, I'm just thankful to God, you know, for everything that I have, you know? can't complain about anything. So moving forward, how do you give back to the up and coming fighters? Because I mean, a lot of people look up to you. A lot of people want to learn from you. I mean, what, what, what's next for you? I gotta enjoy my family. And sometimes like, it's, it's crazy, but I have to give more to them, you know? Regato and Para Bench. Thank you. First of all, congratulations on an excellent career. You were one of the first fighters I watched when I was getting into MMA. It's crazy that I get to stand here right now. Um, going back to the fight today, in the first round, it felt like you were hitting your stride, you were catching up with one of your shots and everything. What kind of went wrong, and where did you realize that things were not heading your way? I think I, I paid for the kicks, you know? He landed a few kicks on me and I lost my movement. And he catch me, you know. I was able to catch him too, but uh, he's, he's, he was a good shot. And, you know, uh, hats off to him, you know. I wish him nothing but the best. Was that something you expected for him to come out heavy on the kicks and maybe not so much inclined towards taking out? Yeah, I, I, I expect him to be more a striker. Uh, I was planning to take him down, but I try one time. I want to mix things up, but I just, just not. I just didn't have the timing. Marlon, Marlon, uh, you seem a little bit emotional. I just want to give you an opportunity to say anything that you haven't had a chance to say. If this is the last time we're talking to you post fight, you know, do you have any reflections on your career you haven't brought up already? Man. Yeah. I'm just thankful, you know, for everyone. I, I get emotional because, man, it's like I gave it all, you know, and I didn't shit anything. And that's it, man. Thank you.
you know, you finished your career. Do you, what advice do you have to guys who may be sitting where you were this way, or maybe one way to go, thinking about at this time to go, or should they keep it going? I think you always gotta try. You always gotta believe you can, you know? And until you can't. And that's what I did. I tried my best. I gave my all. I got no regrets. I can look myself in the mirror now and like, man, I gave it all. Hey, Mark. George, can you look from the school board? Um, even though tonight may not have turned out the way that you had hoped that it turned out, um, what, do you, what do you want fans to remember as far as your legacy and the personal mark and impression that you made on the school? You were a little bit late, but he just asked me. I was never in a boarding fight, you know? And uh, I was always a dangerous fighter. You know? Everyone that fought me, and they they were worried, you know? And that's all. And to follow up with that, um, you know, most fighters, you know, after fights like this, and, and they make that tough decision to retire, you know, um, a lot of them, you know, don't walk away um, with their dignity and their pride, it's, it's, it still eats at them for a very long time. But it sounds like, from the way that you're talking, that you can truly walk away from tonight, like you said. You can wake up tomorrow, look at yourself in the mirror, and be at peace and be like, you know what? It may not have turned out the way that I wanted to tonight, but you know what? At least I can say that I gave the fans and the sport um, something fun and exciting and at least they'll remember me uh, in a good light in, instead of, you know, the guy that, you know, uh, I guess got knocked out. Yeah, man. It's, I, I made that decision before, but it wasn't the time. I, I, I wasn't right, you know, it wasn't me. But now it's me, you know. I, I'm done, you know, like, I gave it all for the sport. And like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with everything that I accomplished. I came from nothing, but look what I am now, you know? God bless you. Thank you. Marlon, Julian Virgin, good to see you again. Congratulations on a wonderful career. I asked you two days ago about your kids and about what they thought about dad when he came home, man. Was this something that was on your mind? Man, it's, it's just not the best moment of my career, you know, as results. I've been training hard, I've been every day in the gym, I give my all, but just the results, is, they're not coming, you know, things are not happening. And when God's telling me, it's time, it's, it's, it's from me now, you know? And when, like you said, it's time, it's time, you know? Time to enjoy this too. This is the be best part of me. And my final question is also gonna be a follow-up question couple days ago was, what would that young man that was that age think about, you know? Marlon? Remember what you asked me? I did. Uh, what you asked me? I asked you, what would, what would Marlon think? Young Marlon, when he was that age, what do you think about the man that's standing yeah, in front of us? I wish, I wish I have a dad like this, you know? I wish <laughs> my dad was a great father, but I think I, I always try to Better for them. Congratulations once again on a, on a great career. Um, I'm trying to finish up with some bright spots for you. Um, what does fighting in the PFL mean to you, the opportunity you got to come here and, and finish your career? If, if they have the 35 division, I would do a 35, but they have a 45 and the opportunity came to me and I couldn't say no, and I've been in the PFL before, and that that was, even if I was winning, if in, if I had a good streak, that's the place where I choose to retire. That's the place where I start, and that's where I'm, I'm finishing my career. And the last thing I got, um, how much time are you going to take before you become coach for these two? I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna coach my oldest soccer. Now he's gonna be, he's gonna play soccer and I'm gonna be behind him like nobody ever did. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Anybody else?
tira essa tag, rapaz. Ih, tem que sorrir, rapaz. Tem que sorrir, rapaz. É, tá pronto. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.